In this video, we are going to focus on multiplication and division of algebraic fractions. You will find this on page 111 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Note, the value of an algebraic fraction remains unchanged when both its numerator and denominator are multiplied or divided by the same non-zero number or expression. So if you multiply with R, R, these two fractions will be equivalent. If you divide by R, divide the bottom by R, then these fractions will be equivalent. As long as what you do on top, you must do at the bottom. And it only involves multiplication, multiplying with something, or dividing with the same number. Okay, or expression. So if you look at this one, we're going to first focus on multiplication of algebraic fractions. So multiplying algebraic fractions is the easiest operation of all. Just multiply the tops together and the bottoms together. So it's A times C, B times D. And then you can see if something can cancel out. But you can also cross cancel. So if you look at this example, I prefer sometimes to first do the multiplication. So top times top, bottom times bottom, and I end up with this. And now I can start simplifying. I say 2 can go in 4 times, 2 can go in 5 times. And then this is a negative, and this is 4 and 5. And then I look, one of the M's cancel out, so there's one left at the bottom. One of the P's cancel out, one left at the bottom, and the Q's cancel out totally. And that will be my final answer. Let's see. Stop the video, and I think we're just going to do one. Do try now 26, number B. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, again, just write it down, everything. Okay, and as soon as you start multiplying, you're going to say 2 times 3, that's going to be 6, and then it's going to be N, and it's going to be P squared Q squared. And then this is going to be negative 56, and it's going to be m squared, n squared, p squared. And now I'm going to simplify. I'm going to say, okay, 2 can go in 3 times, 2 can go in 28. And I will just write it as, there's only a positive divided by a negative, it's negative. So it's 3 over 28, and then let's see. Uh, m squared, there's nothing to cancel, so it's just m squared. And then the next one, um, if I look on top, um, let's look okay, at that was the m squared. The n, there's going to be 1 at the bottom, because 1 cancel out. And the p squares, it seems to be cancel out, but there's nothing to cancel with the q squared. And that will be your final answer. Okay, let's look at another example. Simplify the following. So if I look at this, again, always see if you can factorize. So if you can factorize, difference between two squares, and then factorize and then see if something can cancel out. And then three can go in one, three can go in two, that bracket cancel out, and this is your final. This is a trinomial, okay? So factorize it. This is difference between two squares, factorize it. First take out the common factor, and then it's a trinomial, factorize. Take out the common factor, trinomial, factorize, and then start cancelling out. This bracket cancel this bracket, this bracket cancel this bracket, this bracket cancel this bracket, this two cancel this two, and I will be left by this. Okay, again, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number A, and what will we also do? Let's do number A and D. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number A. Again, as I said, 
make sure that you try first and as soon as you try it you can look at the video so if you look at number A it's going to be 4A squared plus 12A over 8 multiply 4 over A plus 3 okay let's take out the common factor if we take out the common factor it's on the highest common factor, it's 4a and what will be left? a plus 3. Okay, and there's my 8, and there's my 4, and there's my a plus 3. Okay, and then I will cancel, cancel. And then, okay, here also, sorry, stop. Go in one time, oh, actually 2, 1. Okay, and, and then you can first simplify. If there's something that can still cancel, look, 4a over 2. And then I can say go in 1, 2, but the final answer will be 2a. Okay, that was number a. Let's make space and let's do number d. This is going to be 2x squared minus 8x over x squared minus 6x plus 8 multiplied x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 2x. Okay, so if I look at this one, I take out the common factor. So if I divide, I get x minus 4. Now, this is a quadratic trinomial and it's in group A. Always do it here on the side. You don't have to write all the factor pairs. Now you're good. So you're just going to try. So it's in group A, I must add the over cross product. So it's four times two and one and one. So four plus two, that's going to be six. The signs are going to be the same and both will be the middle sign, which is negative. And that's x and that's x. So now I'm going to have x minus four, x minus 2. Multiply. And then I find difference between two squares. x plus 2, x minus 2. Take out a common factor, x, x minus 2. And now start cancelling. So if I look, x minus 2, x minus, remember it can only cancel 1. x minus 4, x minus 4. And then my final answer will be so um, let's see if something can cancel still out, no, um, maybe that x and that x. So the final answer will be 2x plus 2 over x minus 2. Okay, remember you cannot cancel inside the brackets. And you cannot cancel the whole brackets because the signs are different. I want to remind you, don't do algebraic fractions unless you are good in factorizing. So first go to the factorizing, the factorizing um, videos before you start with algebraic fractions. Okay, that was multiplication. Let's move on to division. So division of algebraic fractions. To divide algebraic fractions, change to a multiplication and take the reciprocal of the second fraction. That's how you change it to a multiplication. You actually flip the fraction around. Then follow the rules of multiplication. Okay, so there I flipped it. Top times top, bottom times bottom. Let's look at a simple one. First, make it multiply. Top times top, bottom times bottom, and then start cancelling out. So 8 going 1, 8 going 1, 8 go in 3. And then start to say the A, one of the A's is left, uh, the, the, one of the X is left, and one of the Y's is left. Okay, um, and, and the B is 3 minus 1, so the 2 is left. Okay. Um, you can again stop the video. And then you do, I'm just going to give you a 1 because it's not so challenging. Just do number B. As soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. So this is just 7p squared x over 
P Y. I think even if you write it over, you can already write this step. It's just going to spare you a little bit of time. Just make sure that you copy correctly. Okay, so this is actually the second step. And then um, I prefer, as I said, first the multiplying. So 7P, 3 plus 2, 5X over. And then we're just going to say 3 times 14. What will that be? 42. And then it's going to be P, X, P. Let's just get that P. And then that's a x, and it's a y squared. And then it's going to be 7 going 1, 7 going 6. Okay, and then I start simplifying this. Let's just see. There's the 6. Then the, one of the p's cancels, so there's p4. Uh, the x cancel totally, and then there's y squared. And that will be your answer, p4 over 6y squared. And that's that. Let's look at the more challenging one. Or challenging ones. Okay, in this case, make it a multiply and then factorize. So this is difference between two squared, this is common factor, and then you just start cancelling out and that's left. This one, um, make it a multiplication, swap it around, and then follow the rules of multiplication. So this is a trinomial, factorize. Um, common factor, and then this also common factor, and then this is two brackets, and then I just cancel out. So, or remember, cancel, 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 and then the individual one. Two can go in one, two can go in five, X cancel, and this is the final. Okay, again, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number A. And I think the last one, yes, there's a nice trinomial also, number D. Um, I just want to see, yes, leave number D, leave number D, I like that trinomials, and rather do number A. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with number A. So in this case, it's going to be x over, and, and I'm just to spare myself a little bit of time, I'm already going to change it into a multiplication. It's not necessary that you do it like this, but just for the writing. Okay. So swap it around. And now I start, and I just say x over x plus 2. I cannot, you can even put, only put a bracket. Take out a common factor. Oh, the pen was again too fast. So it's x plus 2 and over 4. Oh, and it's so nice if something cancel out. Okay, and then, but don't forget, x times x will be x squared and it will be over 4. And that will be your final answer. Oh, that was quite long. Okay, let's do number 2a. Again, let's just make space. So number 2a, and I'm going to write it again, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared over a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Make it a multiplication and just write this 2a squared minus 2, oh, sorry, sorry, minus, let's just go, minus 2ab minus 4b squared. And this is going to be over a squared minus b squared. Okay, so I already made it a multiply by taking the reciprocal of the second fraction. And now I'm just going to start factorizing. So this is, again, can you see, trinomial, and it's in group A. And again, it's not necessary that you write, you can just do it here on the side. So it's 1 and 1, 1 and 1. 1 plus 1 is that 2. The signs are the same, and both is negative. 
and then it's a square a so it will be a is here b square b so b will be at the back so if i rewrite it it's going to be a minus b a minus b and now this is exactly the same it's also in group a but it's just positive so instead it's just going to be positive positive so it's going to be a plus b a plus b okay multiply now first take out a common factor always so it's a squared minus a b minus 2 b squared okay and this is difference between two squares so it's a plus b a minus b oh let's just get that pen correct okay again this is a trinomial so let's do it again this is going to, this is in group can you see group b so it's two and one one and one two minus one is one okay signs are different and the biggest over cross will get that okay just be careful for this um let me just i just want to clean a little bit here because otherwise it looks like so it was just um it's the biggest over it's a minus a negative and this one will be a positive and it was a a squared so it's going to be a a and then b squared b it's going to be b b so if i'm going to rewrite it let's just rewrite it it's going to be a minus b a minus b a plus b a plus b multiply two and this one is going to be this is 29 number two this is going to be two a minus two b as it stands there and a plus b and this is going to be over a plus b a minus b okay i want to show you you have one term over one term multiply one term over one term and now you can cancel out okay and sometimes um, let's see let's see a minus b okay there's a minus b there is a plus b a plus b um, and that's that sometimes not so many things cancel out so in this case my answer is going to be okay let's quickly see this is number two my answer is going to be that two and it's a minus b always put the number in front or the term the single term and a minus 2b and over a plus b uh, you can either say a plus b two times or a plus b and just put a square and that's that that's the final answer in the next video we are going to look at addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions